Well, the first thing we need to do is to add a plugin with a piano sound. Loading a sound into the plugin is not enough. You need to tell Synthfire which kind of instrument that is, and you should also give every sound a name. Now, Let's record the first take. I want this to become the bass. Therefore I need to change the recognition settings here to melodic bass and correct my bad timing. And it's of course monophonic. That sounds different. Because we have a C major chord here. And need a weak. A weak note. Instead of a strong note. Now I'm going to record an overdub, a second part. This will again sound a little different. Bypassing the voice leading is another option to make a segment more weak. Okay, let's continue with a new take. This will certainly sound much different. C major is just too strict. Let's do some magic and change the harmonies. Now that sounds like music. I want to edit this looped item here. So I need to make a snapshot of the figure in order to edit it.
I'm still working in the root container and it makes much sense to put everything I've done so far in a child container. The root container is empty now and everything's moved to here. Okay, now let's add a cello. For this one, I need a new plugin part. Um, and I have already a template for this sound, which I can browse here. And this saves me the setup of controllers and ranges and everything. Let's mute uh, the cello for now. I want to add another overdub to the piano. Green symbols are not so good for chords, therefore I choose chord abstraction and this resolution ensures the chords get grouped correctly without quantization. Looks good. Although the pitch is a bit high. And the middle playing range is responsible for this and this is the sweet spot of the middle range good and the chords get arranged around that sweet spot well now it's almost done um, I want to merge all these piano parts into a single phrase. And this could already be the final result. And it might sound like this. <laughs> 